on this episode of Trekking Through. Freight train and pickles hike out of Damascus and ford a river to camp underneath a bike trail bridge. They cross over the 500 mile marker and into the Grayson Highlands, a unique environment filled with wild ponies and beautiful views. Good morning. We just woke up here at the Airbnb. Uh, we're packing up all our stuff, cleaning the, the place, making sure it's all good for us to check out. And then we're gonna get back on trail. We'll probably stop by Mojo's again and grab a coffee on our way out, cause it's hard to pass that up. And then, yeah, we'll be hiking for four days in a row before we come into Marion, Virginia. That's the next place. We're out oh, here stretching yeah, and stuff. The three of us, me, Brian and Jacob, just did a nice group stretch. We stretched our hamstrings and I'm drinking coffee. Brian's drinking our last beer. <laughs> Morning beer. Uh -huh. Stretching the legs out. Right by the river. Packing up our packs. Packing Hi. up the Airbnb. Time to leave Damascus and get back on trail. There's a white blaze. And there's our sticker. walked right into the sidewalk and got nailed by a bike. <laughs> I'm moving really slow today. It's just hard to get back on trail after relaxing zero. We're just feeling a little sluggish, I suppose. A little lazy. We don't really have too many miles to do, so... We're just kind of not in a hurry, and we'll get there. Um, but it's kind of nice, honestly. We're just taking our time. Cool flowers. Yeah, the buds are like cooler than the actual flowers. They're like little pink starbursts. Yeah. Climbing up this hill right now, I've just been thinking about how um, how we have no idea where we're gonna be in just a few months from now and what our future is gonna hold. I recently found out that my mom and stepdad are selling our house back at home and um, we're moving out a little sooner than we thought by the end of July. Just doing the AT in general, it was kind of less scary knowing that if anything happens, at least I can go home and do the same thing. But now that I don't have that, it's just um, kind of exciting. But uh, it's definitely kind of nerve wracking just not knowing where we're going to be. I don't doubt that we'll figure it out. And as we do this trail, I think I'm going to get more comfortable with the unknown and be being a nomad in this life for a little bit. Clouds covering the mountains. We're on the creeper trail now, which is a bike path. Yep. So Jacob found us this awesome camping spot across the river. But, under uh, the bridge. Yep, under the bridge we were just on. That's the trail. Where? Oh yeah, that's a trail right there. So we're gonna be having to cross over this river 
so we're taking our shoes off. Hope we don't slip and that it's not too cold, but here we go. So we made it to this little tent spot, kind of nestled in between the river on both sides. Feels good to be back at camp. We've spent a lot of time at hostels lately and not so much just doing the old camping thing. Oh, it's dark. Let me turn on my headlamp. Wait a sec. Crossed the river not too long ago and set up camp. And now we're filling up on water. We're gonna cook some mac and cheese for dinner and hopefully go to bed early. I got this at the Dollar Tree on my birthday. It's called True North and it smells like, mm, like pine and like cedar and like sandalwood, like really nice stuff. I hope it lasts. I'm just gonna keep it in our tent somewhere. Mac and cheese, buffalo mac and cheese, mm. it's back. Deja vu. This looks like the exact same shot. <laughs> I got, you're wearing the same clothes. <laughs> it's the same angle. It's same just thing. black darkness behind you. Same exact mac and cheese. <laughs> Except this time I got deluxe mac and cheese. I didn't put the buffalo in it yet, actually. What? It's kind of just as good as mac and cheese. Good morning. Just woke up here under this bridge next to the river. Beautiful little campsite. We were, stayed last night with Ducky and Jacob. Um, slept in a little bit late this morning because we just don't really feel too rushed. We did almost 14 miles yesterday after 1 p.m. So we're just trying to do like 16 today. So as long as we leave by like 10 or 11, I feel like we'll be fine. Um, we're gonna get into the Grayson Highlands maybe, or maybe we'll stop like right before. Um, which is pretty exciting. I've been really looking forward to that for a long time. They have like wild ponies there that are all over the place. And it's kind of like the Rhone Highlands where it's all just exposed grassy peaks and stuff. Uh, I think ideally we'll get like right to the beginning of it and camp. And then tomorrow we'll just like take our time and really enjoy it and go through it. I was just getting ready in my tent. I was like, where are my boots? And I just left them here right by the river when we crossed all night and it rained. But I guess it didn't rain that much. Whoops. All right, we gotta cross this river again. Going in it. Ooh, it's deep there. Oh my god. Oh my god, you're so cold. Alright. Wow, Jacob's making you look like a wimp. To hit the trail. Kiki's just going over to hit up that trash can. Heck yeah! Love a good trash can out in the in the woods. And then we gotta climb up this steep cliff to go back over this bridge. There's the river down there. I have to cross. I'm still feeling the urge to. <laughs> nail someone's bicycle spokes with my pole.
Oh, I can barely fit. What the? What the? Oh. That was like so shocking. <laughs> oh, the bite. Oh my. <laughs> you get a pull? You get a pull? <laughs> How far? Well, I don't know. Sit down. Yeah, I think. <laughs> Green forest we're in the big rock. Lunchtime tomatoes under this cool tree rock root. Let me stretch the legs a little bit. Yeah, it's nice just to lay down. All right, we've been stopped here for 30 or 40 minutes. Eating, and we're freezing. It's so cold. Yeah, it's really cold today. Whew, hands are. Um, so yeah, we are gonna start hiking. <laughs> Not much of views. The way it disappears, it's like we're in a video game. I think we haven't gotten to the next area yet. <laughs> yeah, you can't have it loaded. <laughs> Rogers, which is the highest peak in Virginia. Mount Rogers Summit that way. But it's half a mile and it's like eight o'clock. It's kind of gross when we heard there's no view up there anyway because it's trees. So. And there's just a lot of fog anyway. So screw it. We're just gonna head on the campsite. Be there pretty yep. soon. We got to the shelter. <laughs> it's dark. We were looking for us. We looked for like 30 minutes for a place to set up and finally found this little clearing in the woods. So we we're gonna set up our stuff, wake up early tomorrow morning, and get an earlier start. But we gotta cook some dinner first. But let's get this tent up. Cooking a little pasta dinner. Kiki's chefing up tonight. Uh oh. Shut the door. Today was tired. I don't know. We were tired when we woke up today, and we were tired all day, and it was just kind of slow going. Look at the little air freshener we got. Our tent was smelling a little bit, so. This actually has been working. It smells still. really good. We'll wake up tomorrow morning in the Grayson Highlands and have a beautiful day. It's supposed to be nice and sunny.
Good morning. Ryan's just getting her food bag. Oh, here you come. It's beautiful out here. Yeah, it looks like it. Ponies everywhere. Really? No. Oh. We're excited today to see the ponies on our hike. Good morning. Just woke up at the Thomas Knob shelter area where we tented last night. It was freezing last night. It was like almost hard to sleep. I was so bundled up in my bag and stuff, but we're gonna see the ponies. I'm pretty sure they're just like a mile or two up and they'll be around for like a 10 mile stretch or something. And then we're going through like cow pastures and it's just beautiful up here. It's really cool. It looks like a river over there in between the mountains, but it's just the fog that settled down from yesterday. The birds are singing, the sun's coming out, everything's dry. It's gonna be an awesome day. So we got here really late last night and we were scrambling to look for a good place to set up our tent in these woods. And literally everywhere you look, there's piles of horse poop, like Pony, look how big that pile is. Pony poop. Pony poop. Pony poop. Pony poop. So much pony poop everywhere. Pony poop. Pony poop. I'm almost 100% sure that I set my pack down in a pile of pony poop last night I didn't even see. <laughs> <sighs> well, that's too bad. A little pony poop never hurt anybody. Now this pony's gonna follow us. <laughs> Trying to get our snacks. Look at this. We just hit 500 miles. 500 miles. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Pretty surreal that we've gone this far. Yeah. It's tighter. <laughs> yeah, this is like. Oh, I just nailed my head on the Why? It's not even on the trail. Cool rock. Ryan's gonna climb up it. Oh, wow. Oh, man, big cliff. Pretty cool. Bunch of ponies down there. You there, little baby. What the little baby horse doing? Get turn and face me. Okay. Little pony.
progress has been slow. We made it from like up there to here in like 45 minutes. Because <laughs> okay. these ponies are so adorable. can't pass up climbing up a big rock for a nice view. Oh. Hey, that's a weird looking horse over there. <laughs> hey cow. He looks like he's full already. Hey cow. Through the corral. <sighs> Spilling up some water here. We just stopped for lunch at the shelter. And once again, we've been going really slow today. Just kind of enjoying, except for instead of because we're tired, today we're going slow because we're having such a good time. And the highlands are so amazing with the ponies and stuff. So we're kind of down in a little bit of a dip. And then we'll go back up to the highlands a bit more. And then we got to go out of the highlands and then camp somewhere. Walking into the wilderness to see this pack of ponies. Should we braid it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's braid it. Let's braid your forelock. Forelock. Your forelock, Sherlock. So we just got pretty much out of the Grayson Highlands. Now we're just coming down back into normal area. We're just in the shelter, stretching out our legs, taking a little break as we come down this kind of steep drop down. We are gonna do like five more miles tonight. It's already 6 p.m. But yeah, the Grayson Highlands were amazing. We had such a great day there. It was awesome. Seeing the ponies was really cool and stuff. And yeah, but now we're just back in the woods. We've been chilling at this shelter for a while, and I saw this butterfly land on my bag, and he's been here for a long time. There's, there's not anything yummy in there. <laughs> <laughs> We're filling up water again. Getting the headlamp out because we'll probably be rolling to camp dark again. So. 
Yeah, yeah, it's 730 we're already. Gonna, we're gonna carry up the water that we're gonna use to cook with tonight so that we don't have to fill up when we get there. So it'll be heavy going up, but whatever. Whatever. <laughs> it'll be hard anyway. Another night of getting to camp at dark. We could have kept hiking though, honestly, we felt pretty good coming up over this last peak. Yeah, Probably since we, so yeah, we flew up here, like, well over three miles an hour. And, uh, yeah, probably because we took it so freaking easy all day today. Did you have to tighten those? No, tighten those after you do the, it's put those stakes in. It's been a long day. Yeah, it's been a long day. So, anyway, we're literally just going to pass right out, wake up tomorrow. We got to do 20 miles. It's going to be, it's my birthday tomorrow, actually. It's Brian's birthday tomorrow. Yeah, we just, I just kind of remembered today, so. <laughs> you remembered, you realized today at lunch. Yeah. But anyway, I'm not going to do much more recording because we're kind of setting up next to a bunch of people.